What's up, Darcel? How can I help you, man? I'm good. How you feeling? Man, I'm doing good, man. It's Wednesday, Build Your Table Day. So, you know, anytime I can spend some time with my E3 community and my family, man, I get super excited, brother. What's go Where yes, are you calling sir. in from, man? Yeah, man, great job at the leadership conference last week, too. I was down there in Texas, man. So, phenomenal job during the pre-show. Oh, man, thank you yep. so much, man. It was an honor yep. to serve Bishop Jakes and that amazing uh, Bishop Torrey Roberts and Sarah Jakes Roberts as well. You know, those are dear friends of mine. So, I had the opportunity to serve awesome. them. So I'm grateful, man. Awesome. But where are you calling yep, in so from, man, bro? Yep, so I'm calling from Detroit. Usually I watch it on YouTube, DB Cell, but um, quick question for you today. Uh, so a couple of things. I'm almost at the end of paying off my uh, house that I live in, okay. and I'm looking forward to the future. I have a wife and we have a daughter. I've been watching Dave Ramsey for years. I'm turning 40 this year as well, so happy birthday to both of us, but I'm uh, looking forward to moving eventually, and my mortgage is extremely low right now. I only have like a few thousand dollars left to pay off. Honestly, I could probably wipe that out. But I'm like at a 2.7 interest rate, something along those lines. So do, my question is, do I, would you recommend going ahead and paying that off before, um, as I'm on my, get ready to get on a search, probably eventually to start looking for a new home in the future? Is it worth doing that? Or is that going to count against me if I start, you know, applying? Uh, let me ask you this question, man. How much do you owe left on a mortgage right now? Total, like ballpark. Two thousand dollars. Like three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. Like three thousand. Like three thousand. Okay, three thousand dollars left on a yeah. mortgage. Okay. Um. All right, bet cool. And then, and then, go ahead. And then to add to that, I guess my other question is, if I was to rent this property out. Is it, it's, it's a condo um, and it, the city is decent. You know, I gotta be careful because I'm a former, former politician, but the city is, is decent. Is it worthwhile keeping if it's not, if there isn't a lot of stability in terms of the whole condo association and then the neighborhood as well? I mean, I think for that question, I, I can't really answer that question per se because I'm not in the in the real estate business as far as in it being a realtor to give you give you the proper advice. But here's my thing: if the if if the mortgage is already paid for, why would you want to get rid of it? You know what I'm saying? Like if you could put a a, a tenant in there that mm -hmm. would pay you decent money. And if you got the money to pay off the three thousand dollars today, I'm paying off. I'm I'm cutting that check today. I own okay. it right out, right, and then I'm gonna put a tenant in there. Like I'm gonna move out, put a tenant in there, and go find me something better. Um, I think, especially a condo, you're gonna get a young young single person or a young mm -hmm. couple to do it. Why not? I would keep that for your equity um, down the road. And here's the truth. I hate to say it like this, but I don't care if the community is not good. I just care, can I get it rented out? Okay. Understood. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it had to be something good if you live there. At least it had to be Correct. decent if you oh, yeah. were living yeah, there. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, so if you're living there, somebody else will live there. So why okay. not go ahead and get the rent money and keep this property inside of uh, your investment portfolio? Because ballpark, okay. what would the condo be worth once you pay it off? I'm assuming it'll probably range around 90000 Ninety thousand for the condo. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's why I'm making an estimation. Yeah. So you you bought it cheaper than ninety thousand. Yeah. Yes, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Great. So yeah, man. For something like that, that small. Yeah, man. I'm gonna keep it and rent it out. I would okay. definitely have a land. I mean, not a landlord. I would definitely have a real estate agent come out and. Uh, look into that a little bit more, give you some proper understandings. How can you get that above $100,000? There's some upgrades that you possibly could do just to, you know, get that thing uh, really up to date maybe. But something okay. that cheap, man, I I would definitely want to keep it inside. I mean, because it's it's just it's just sitting there. Uh, but okay. do you do you have the $3,000 in your account to pay it off? Uh, I can take care of that. That's oh, yeah, no problem. Man. I yep. would definitely, I would definitely take care of that. Go ahead and get, go ahead and get free from that, that side. Now, before I take care of that, um, you don't have to say that because you didn't call in asking this question, but I'm not going to pay off my mortgage before paying off consumer debt. Yep. I'm, I'm debt free. Yep. I, okay. I used to, I was used to be in a bunch of debt after I got through watching Dave Ramsey, you I wiped that credit card debt out over the years. And so, yeah, I'm free now, thankfully. Yeah. That's good. No, that's yes, real sir. good. Man. Well, I'm appreciate you.
Hey, appreciate you, man. Thanks for calling in. Yep.